In this presentation, I'm going to be discussing some strategies you can use to sharpen your communication skills as a leader. Communicating effectively is hard, especially when you're leading an organization or even just a big group of people. These days, communication skills are in high demand, as a lot of workplaces have made the switch from in-office to remote work or a combination of the two. If you're not exactly sure where to start when it comes to developing your communication skills as a leader, you're not alone. Even seasoned leaders struggle with communication issues, and it's only natural to wonder how you can sharpen your skills and communicate more effectively with your audience. Without further ado, here are five strategies you can use to improve your communication skills and, in turn, become a better leader. 1. Keep your audience in mind. Consider what matters most to your audience. When you choose to speak about something that actually caters to the interests of your audience, they'll be a lot more likely to listen and engage with what you're saying. This is all about tailoring your communication so that what you're saying will resonate with people on an individual level. This is also just one of many reasons why planning out your speeches and meetings beforehand is so important. Remember, you're not just trying to get your point across, you're trying to inspire your audience at the same time. 2. Keep it concise. Have you ever had a hard time grasping something that someone was saying simply because they were bombarding you with too much information? This happens more often than you might think, especially in workplaces. Even the most engaged audience will eventually get bored. Minds tend to wander and no one really wants to listen to a super convoluted message. When speaking, keep your message concise and use simple language. Your audience will surely appreciate it. 3. Make eye contact. Now you shouldn't stare at the person you're talking to, as this might make them feel uncomfortable. Maintaining regular eye contact with them, though, is a great way to make them feel like they're being listened to. It's also a great way to gauge whether or not the person you're speaking to is understanding what you're saying. Body language is quite telling, and if a person seems uninterested, distracted, or confused while you're speaking to them, you should probably try to relay your message in a different way. 4. Ask for feedback. If you're not sure whether the person or group you're speaking to actually understood your message, you can ask them to recap what you just said in their own words. This is an excellent way to help people retain information, and it can reduce potential misunderstandings down the line as well. You can also ask your audience to share questions about how you could improve your presentation and speaking skills. 5. Minimize distractions. When you're having a face-to-face -face conversation with someone, you should make sure that there aren't any distractions around. This might mean turning off your phone, asking the person you're talking to to put their phone away, or shutting your office door during one-on-one -on -one meetings. If possible, try not to plan meetings right before lunch or at the end of the day. People won't be fully open to having a conversation if they're getting ready to eat lunch or go home. No one is going to be retaining much information anyway if they have one foot out the door. Just plan out your day accordingly and schedule meetings at appropriate, convenient times whenever possible. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.